in this lecture we will be learning about variables and values okay so let's get into it so first of all let's uh, come into this annoying alert window and uh, in this lecture i'll be taking examples of an employee its profession and its salary etc okay so let's see what is a value value is just a smallest piece of data that we use in programming okay so it is just a smallest piece of unit of information that we use in programming okay so for example this name this is a value because it is a piece of information the smallest piece of data okay and this 24 is also a value to see this let's use console log Let's refresh. So now you can see the values are coming into the console from line number seven in script dot js. This is which is this line, and the other value is coming from line number nine, which is this one. So we can log different type of values in the console, and as you can see, these are also the small values. Like fifty-seven, twenty, thirty, and twelve, and in between there are some arithmetic operations, which are used to form a single value out of this. Okay, which you can see here, and it is also coming from line number eleven, which is this line. Okay, so value is nothing but it is just a small piece of data. or information you can say which we use in programming okay and there is uh, another best use of values is to store them in some variables so let's see what is a variable so now let employee name equals to ronak so here what we did we have declared a variable using this variable declaration and we have stored a value in that particular variable using this assignment operator okay you so you don't have to worry about this variable declaration and assignment operator for now just uh focus on the variable and the value we are storing a value in a variable okay in simple words so variable you can consider it as a container which we use to store things into it okay so in real world example in variable uh, sorry in containers we use to store some stuff into it so it can hold multiple things or it can hold a single thing so variable is the same thing acting as a container here in our programming world okay and uh, why we are using variable instead of values directly so let me show you the use case of variables as well so for example if you want to write uh, this name at multiple places let's see console dot log and here we are writing our name okay if you refresh it it is coming from line number fifteen that is this and let's console log multiple times okay 
सो हेयर वॉट वी डिड वी हैव रोड वैल्यू मल्टीपल टाइम्स इन द कंसोल लॉ एंड इन फ्यूचर इफ यू वॉन्ट टू चेंज द वैल्यू टू समथिंग एल्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल रौनक श्रीवास्तव देन यू नीड टू चेंज इट एवरीवेयर अदरवाइज यू हैव टू you will see the place uh, the change value only where you have changed manually and if you want to change it everywhere without uh, doing all these things manually we use variable so instead of using values directly let's use variable and see what happens so here instead of using the values directly we are using this variable name okay so let's refresh it again we are getting all the values just by using these variable names because this variable will be replaced by the actual value which is stored in that variable i'm repeating it again so whatever value is stored in a particular variable if you console log it or if you use it anywhere it will be replaced by its actual value so now if we change the value to ronak shrivastava then if i refresh it then you can see it is changed everywhere we don't have to manually go and change for all these four lines okay so this is one of the important and basic use case of variable with the help of this we can write the value we can store the value only once and we can use it in multiple places and in case if we want to change it then we only have to change it at one place and that change will be reflected everywhere okay so it cannot be just uh, one value which we can store we can store multiple things for example let profession equals to coder salary equals to salary equals to 87000 okay so all these things we can log in console and one of the important things about variable set variables is that uh, you should uh, name the variable so that you can easily understand what type of value it is holding okay so for example uh, let's take an example let profession 1 coder profession 2 so these two variables as you guys can see are not telling more than just profession we can only understand like they are holding some kind of profession in them okay and on the other hand let me write two variables so this way we have a better understanding like which variable is holding what value for example you guys can easily see like my previous profession was a coder my current profession is a teacher 
so you should name your variables to easily understand what kind of values they are holding okay and as you can see i have used a naming convention and this naming convention is called camel casing okay so it's nothing but just uh, a standard in javascript which we use so to write camel case what we need to do is we just need no, need to write the first letter in lower case and the subsequent letters subsequent words in upper case let me show an example for example if you are writing name then it will be in small case and if it has some subsequent words for example first name then the subsequent words will be in upper case first name so here another subsequent word this will also be in upper case so snake casing will be the first word will be starting with the lower case and the subsequent words will be starting with the upper case okay so we have some other conventions as well for example snake casing here you can see we are uh, using underscore after every new word coming into the variable okay so first underscore name underscore person so it makes it easy for a person to read the variable so let's see another example so if you write uh, first name person then it will be a little bit difficult for you to read it at one go all right so for this only we use either snake casing or the camel casing to make it human readable okay and it is throwing error because we have used the same name twice we cannot declare a variable a same variable more than once okay if you refresh it then you can see this directly in console and if you have noticed one thing i haven't console log this error but still we are getting this error in console automatically this is because whenever you do any mistake or any error occurs in the code it will end up in your console automatically okay so it is good for you guys to start reading the errors from the starting itself so as you can see it is an syntax error identifier first name person has already been declared at line number 26 script.js which is this line so here we have declared a variable which is already declared above so if we make it first name then if i refresh it then you can see our code is running again okay so there are some restrictions also in creating a variable for example you cannot use numbers in the beginning of the variable for example 34 name so in vs code itself it started giving the error and let's see what error we are getting in console here again we are getting syntax error it is invalid or unexpected token coming from script.js line number 28 okay which is this line so we cannot use numbers or any special characters but we can use underscore instead okay it will work with the underscore perfectly fine see okay and uh, we can also not use uh, any special characters in between the variable for example first percent name 
सो अगेन वी स्टार्टेड गेटिंग एन एरर हेयर एंड दिस इज अगेन अ सिंटैक्स एरर अनएक्सपेक्टेड टोकन परसेंटेज एंड इन वी एस कोड ऑल्सो इट इज गिविंग अस एन एरर एंड इफ यू होवर इट देन हेयर ऑल्सो यू कैन सी द एरर ओके सो ऑल यू कैन यूज इज अ डॉलर साइन एंड अंडर स्कोर इन बिटवीन द वेरिएबल्स okay and one more thing we cannot do in javascript is we cannot use a reserved keyword as a variable for example we have few reserved keywords let's take function see it is a reserved keyword in javascript so we cannot use it as a variable okay if we refresh it then here we can see unexpected token function at line number 28 okay uh and one last thing i wanted to tell you like we have another reserved keyword that is name but it is legal to use the name variable in javascript but i would not recommend to use any reserved keyword because it may create issues later okay so let me show you the example first it will be a working one see we have used a reserved keyword which is name and it is still working fine it is not giving any error but you should not use it like this instead you should use an underscore with the name keyword or to specify it clearly you can use first name last name okay like so so it will more clearly specify like what values they are holding okay so in first name you will easily get to know like there is a first name stored in this particular variable in the last name you are easily get to know like there is a last name of any person stored in this particular variable so your variables should be more specific to the values whatever you are going to store them in them okay so that you can easily understand what values these variables are holding so these are the most important and fundamental part of javascript so make sure you have understand it 100% before moving on to the next lecture okay so see you in the next lecture